hello students today we will start chapter number 1 uh, from book snapshot we have already studied the first second and third chapter from fourth bill today we will start thinking about the new book and from that chapter number 1 very interesting story the summer of the beautiful white horse there is one suggestion very important thing that suggestion is uh, you have to complete the procedure in that procedure loud reading of the story silent reading of the story and vocabulary worksheets all the new words meanings you have to find out in the dictionary and all that meanings uh, you need to write in your notebook as well so it will help you to understand when there is a explanation part explanation video most of the time if your base is clear if you know how is the story and the development of the plot in the story uh, characters from the story uh, you will have a better experience of understanding the story so let's start with a new story the summer of the beautiful white horse william sorry so here uh, the title it is given and the author it is william so and in the beginning two important lines uh, it is given that two important lines signifies very important thing this story is about two poor armenian boys who belong to a tribe whose hallmarks are trust and honesty so here this story is about two poor armenian boys so armenian they are belongs to the armenian tribe and who are that two boys here aram and maraz armenian boys so in the beginning itself uh, it is mentioned about that uh, two boys this this story is about two poor armenian boys and the word poor here it is important means they were poor and their story it is here written this story is about two poor armenian boys who belong to a tribe and you can understand that tribal communities in india also uh, there are so many uh, tribal communities if you will go there there are so many problems they are still in such type of uh, world where we cannot imagine in this modern world their language is st still different they are not getting uh, the modern all facilities I mean still uh, their civilization their development it is not as good as the modern world they don't know all the things which now we are updating and our linguists especially they are also uh, trying to get their language and they are also thinking that the, the tribal language it should also come into the written form because most of the tribal languages uh, they are only available in the spoken form so we are not able to understand that uh, how to communicate with them to give them education the quality education and especially uh, due to such type of uh, problems Uh, their poverty also we can observe because they are not coming into the mainstream of the civilization so sometime uh, they may roam from one place to another place they may shift uh, their family from one place to another place means uh, migrating they may migrate from one place to another place and there is no proper shelter sometime and so many problems in different different season uh they are also facing and sometime uh, you can observe 
uh, that malnutritious also children uh, nowadays also there is a challenge special challenge in this uh, lockdown also how to teach uh, such type of uh, tribal uh, communities tribal students because uh, there is no such network or uh, they do not have such type of smart phones also such uh, we can understand just as a background means here also in india if you are uh, thinking about the tribal communities then you can understand the basic important thing and that is the poverty even though they were uh, poor what was the important thing here it is mentioned that is uh, who belong to a tribe whose hallmarks are trust and honesty so even though they were poor they may not steal or they are not a thief they may not do wrong thing they may not uh, follow the wrong path for their own problems means what is their problem the money is the major problem so to get that money uh, they may take the wrong path and that path may be uh, wrong but here we are observing that there is a trust in other society's mind about that armenian tribe and how is their behavior they are honest also means honesty and trust others can how that trust will develop habit your daily habit your experience and that experience when you are getting you will usually find that each and every uh, good thing will happen when others will observe your behavior when others will think about your own uh, quality how you are uh, thinking about others and how is your impact in that society so suppose you are born in the poor family doesn't mean that you have to think negatively or underestimate yourself so this is the very important concept because in india also poverty situation it is there still there are uh, so many people there in the poverty or uh, bpl we can say below poverty level there are so many people there in that group below poverty level some they are not getting uh, one time also enough uh, food to eat but whatever the their culture their daily behavior their daily actions that actions their work and that family or that tribe their impact means their forefathers everyone they are following the path of honesty they are following the path of trust so they will not do anything which will create problem to their family when some families are like that so here this armenian tribe uh, here it is mentioned about the one family that is gargalanian family they are from the armenian tribe so this is two boys aram and moraj armenian boys they belongs to the gargolanian family and of that gargolanian family what is their hallmark hallmark is trust and honesty so two important concepts and the whole story is based on this means at the end the means how to think about the story the beginning itself the important concept it is discussed and that is trust and honesty and from this we are also going to learn that suppose you do not have that uh, financial security or there may be some financial issues but do not feel in negative way or you have to think that you can also do the good thing because there are so many good people in this society they may help you but you should have 
your positive attitude towards the world. There are so many uh, means IS officers you can observe that they are from uh, means slum area also, or they are from some um, tribal also communities. So we can observe uh, such type of uh, IS, and you can take the inspiration from such type of uh, students. What was the problem? Mm, it was major problem, and that problem was the poverty. But how they overcome that uh, problem? And now uh, they are on the uh, highest post. So poverty is not the thing, but it will uh, create negative things within you, or you will take the wrong path, means smugglery, or such type of things uh, we can understand in slum areas. Nowadays, uh, the young team, they don't want to do the hard work. They are uh, directly joining such type of uh, bad company people and they want immediate money or with less work. So, here in this lesson, when you are reading this story, uh, we have to keep in mind that even though you are in that phase, suppose any one of you or any one of your friends, Suppose they have that problem of uh, poverty, if you have uh, the financial crisis. Okay, you have to accept that you are in that phase. But uh, slowly, slowly, how can you come out from that? The basic thing is you have to take the quality education. And that quality education, uh, help of your good friends, uh, teachers, and the good people in the society will always help you and you will achieve the thing which you wish to achieve. So this is the uh, very important concept uh, through this. We have to learn from the story. So here, beginning of the story. Now we will uh, begin with the, in the beginning, uh, only two important characters uh, here author discuss and in that, Aram and the Murad's character and that both are the Armenian boys. The remaining characters uh, we will discuss afterwards as the story or the plot will develop. Now how is the beginning? One day back there in the good old days when I was nine, means here one boy is narrating the story and here I is used. Now we have to find out who is that. I was nine. So here age group it is mentioned I was nine and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence. Magnificence is very beautiful and life was still a delightful and mysterious dream. So here, the, how is the life? Life is very delightful. Happy joy means such type of everlasting joy. Like that life it is a mysterious thing. And sometimes, uh, some mysteries, means whenever the small children they are dreaming, different, different mysteries, such type of dreams, it would come in their mind when they are sleeping. So this, this type of mysterious dream, my cousin Moraz. And here, now, who is narrating the story? Here, Aram is narrating the story and here he is mentioning about this Murad as a cousin. So here, my cousin Murad, who was considered crazy by everybody who knew him except me. And he was crazy for what? And that we will come to know afterwards that he was crazy for what? Uh, here my cousin Murad who was considered crazy by everyone who knew him except me came to my house at 4 in the morning. So morning 4 o'clock means uh, down at the down. In the morning and woke me up tapping on the window of my room and uh, he might have tapped on the window and what would happen now? The narrator or the this Aram 
he was only nine year so here nine year uh, child he was in a sleep and very nice dreaming mysterious dreams and suddenly what happened at the means in the early time four o'clock understood uh, at four in the morning woke me of tapping on the window of my room so here two characters one character that aram is narrating the story and here i so i refers to the aram means whenever someone is narrating then their first person point of view means i it is used as a narrator so who is narrating that we can understand then aram he said now here in the next the name is mentioned aram he said i jumped out out of bed and looked out of the window and he looked out of the window and what is the scene how is the scene you can understand i couldn't believe what i saw and here that small child is narrating and what is his important thing he is mentioning i couldn't believe what i saw and something he observed that he cannot believe and what is that thing that we can understand it wasn't morning at until it is uh, four o'clock it wasn't morning at and what but it was summer and with a daybreak so here uh, daybreak means uh, time in the morning when daylight first appears like that what is it time of dawn the daybreak uh, not many minutes around the corner of the world it was light enough for me to know i wasn't dreaming and here he was in mysterious dream so like that it is mentioned but he realized that i wasn't dreaming it is reality so like that here we can understand my cousin murad was sitting on a beautiful white horse and what he observed because they both were in the poor family and it is not possible to purchase or have such type of horse in their family because they belongs to the tribal community and poor they were also poor so here my cousin murad was sitting on a beautiful white horse i stuck my head out of the window and rubbed my eyes because he was sleeping so he rubbed his eyes and again with that same intensity eagerness he might be observing that yes he said in armenian there armenian it is a language from armenia that right? uh, it's a horse it's a horse you are not dreaming make it uh, quick if you want to ride so now because others may be still in the sleep so if you wish to ride then one more thing here it is mentioned that you are not dreaming yes you, whatever you are observing that is reality you are not dreaming and make it quick if you want to ride now who is saying to whom so here this murad is saying suppose you wish to ride then quick come fast and then we will go to the right and what is that right horse riding so here in the beginning itself we can understand three important things so author introduced two characters one is aram's character second is murad's character and their relation also it is mentioned uh, that murad is the cousin of aram and the scene is at the Four o'clock, and what is that scene? He, Morad is with the white horse, and the title is also uh, given the same that the summer of the beautiful white horse. So we can understand that I knew my cousin Morad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake. 
but this was more or than ever i could believe so here morad is a different boy understood and he used to uh, live his life in different way and he used to enjoy his life uh, in a different way so here in the first place my earliest memories had been memories of uh, horses and my first longing had been longing to ride so here longing means strong desire and what is the desire here in the first place my earliest memories so earliest memories so that type of memories would be there you might be thinking about that uh, so many days you might be thinking about the same thing that what is that had been memories of horse and you might be uh, thinking about uh, the horse you might be observing such type of horses and because uh, you can observe the poor students you can observe some children in uh, nearby also places or you go in slum areas dharavi or nearby that areas if you will go you can observe or slum dog film also if you will uh, watch you can understand how is the condition of the slum area children or uh, from tribal also communities they may not uh, have such type of things with them but that longing that desire it would be there in the children and both are the children so here in first place my earliest memories had been memories of horses and my first longing had been longing to ride and what was the desire desire to ride that horse and that was the strong desire to ride the horse this was the wonderful part so here this is the one phase that is longing strong desire and memories of the horses that is one part in the, the second place we were poor but it was not possible the reason is suppose you have that strong desire to do something suppose any four wheeler will come then poor children they might be watching that you can observe the picture some poor uh, parents what they are doing there coming by walking and sometimes the four wheeler means his friend or her friend may be there in that four wheeler their parents may come sometime that child may ask the parents that when we will get such type of things or they may have that desire uh, to sit in four wheeler or means their current example just i will give so like that here to have a horse means you should have some money because to keep the horse in house it is not a easy task then here in the second place we were poor and very important thing here author is uh, stating and what is that uh, very important thing author is stating the thing is here this was the part that wouldn't permit me to believe what i saw and because of the second part or the second thing that i wouldn't means believe that how it is possible that my cousin morad would have such type of horse white horse beautiful white horse it is not possible so here this statement it is reality statement we can understand and this is the thinking of small child so small how the small children they are thinking this was the part that wouldn't permit me to believe what i saw so it is unbelievable thing for him but that is the reality and now here uh, author is trying to focus on again one important thing that is the poverty but at the same time two again important things here author is highlighting in the next passage also the same thing here highlighted and that is the important thing what is this gargo lenian family hallmarks what was the hallmark trust and honesty and they are belong to the an armenian tribe so here we were poor 
we had no money so they were poor they would not have the money our whole tribe was poverty stricken and how was the poverty the whole tribe all the whole tribe tribal community means there are many in tribe they were in the such type of phase means poverty stricken every branch of gargolin family was living in most amazing and comical poverty in the world and and that is the comical poverty you cannot imagine also that how uh, we used to live because such type of comical poverty and here poverty in the world most amazing and comical poverty in the world so they were really poverty stricken and how it is uh, possible for them to have such type of force nobody could understand what we ever got money enough to keep us with food in our bellies means to have a food enough food to eat so bellies here means the stomach in a sense here suppose you are getting the enough money then only you can have some things and you could have a nutritious food to eat but here the problem it is of money nobody could understand where we ever got money enough to keep us uh, with food in our bellies not even the old men of the family nobody could uh, have such type of things then again one more thing here the most important of all though we were uh, famous for our honesty we were poor but one important hallmark what was that hallmark that is the honest we had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries and it is not only now this generation not this generation but 11 centuries back and that was their history that was their culture and that was their hallmark so here we can understand that we had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries even when we had been the wealthiest family in what we like to think was the world and for that sake how we are we are the wealthiest family the reason is we are honest the reason is the people have faith on our honest we will not do such type of thing that which will disturb which will spoil the image of the gargolanian family of that armenian tribe so like that it was their legacy legacy of being honest and it will not be broken by any generation like that there was a preaching there was a guidance there was such type of Uh, thing it was developed in their behavior their habits so this is a very important thing and here we were proud first honest next and we were proud of our own family we are we are proud of means the whole tribe the gargolinian family the whole uh, armenian tribes so here we were proud of that honest next then after that we believe in right and wrong so here very nice uh, sentences we can observe in this story in that the next what is after that we believe in right and wrong so here what is their principle being honest suppose when you are honest automatically that is right and wrong things it will be sorted out so the thing it is none of us could take advantage of anybody in the world uh, let alone still so here it is very important thing that no one no one could take such type of uh, disadvantage and that is to steal to steal money of someone or steal anything uh, of any person it is not at all possible so this is the uh, thing we have to keep in mind 
why here that reference set is given because earlier it is mentioned in the first only it is mentioned my cousin moral was sitting on a beautiful white horse and because of that now this small boy nine year boy the thought process started and in that thought process whatever it is uh, the thought process and that thought process it is here reflected in the story and very nice uh, the story development I means psychologically uh, how they are thinking means how someone those who are honest they are thinking and they are all reflections so you can enjoy the story and morally also after reading the story after uh, understanding the story we would also be morally very strong when we are doing something so here consequently even though i could see the horse so magnificent and how is that horse very beautiful magnificent horse even though i could smell it i could sense that understood that is i could smell it means here i could sense that so lovely even though i could hear it breathing so here sensing means smell that breathe all that sensing so exciting i couldn't believe the horse had anything to do with my cousin moral and with me or with any of the other member of our family asleep or awake because i knew my cousin moral couldn't have bought the horse and here he is i knew my cousin moral couldn't have bought the horse it is not possible to purchase it is not possible to buy that horse so here couldn't have bought the horse and if he couldn't have bought it uh, he must have stolen it if he will not purchase that then there is a possibility and what is that possibility second possibility that my cousin morad might have stolen that horse and i refuse to believe he had stolen it because the trust honesty it is their hallmark so again here and i refuse to believe he had stolen it again he refused why the reason is if such type of hallmark and it is not from this generation 11th century is the same uh, type of behavior the same type of principle thoughts if it is there then it is not possible to happen okay so here no member of the gargolin family could be a thief again this nine year boy is stating one important thing that is no member of the gargolin family could be a thief i stared first at my cousin and then at the horse and he observed the cousin first and then the horse there was a pious stillness and humor in each of them which means pious here they were religious the thing pure purity stillness and humor in each of them which on the one hand delighted me and the other frightened me because that happiness the pious all means that happiness it was there on the uh, morad face and that good atmosphere in one hand what happened delighted he was delighted the joy it was there in one hand and the second hand that is the uh, there was a fear also in his mind how it is possible so here on the other morad i say where where did you steal this horse now the direct question it is it is where did you steal this horse leap out of the window uh, he said if you want to ride it was true then uh, he had stolen the horse there was no question about it he had come to invite me to ride or not 
as I chose. So it was now clear that uh, he had stolen or he had taken that horse for the riding. But again here, the boy is clarifying to the everyone. And what is that clarification? Well, it seemed to me stealing a horse for ride was not the same thing as stealing something else. So suppose you have that strong desire to do and suppose only for that sake, only for the ride suppose you are taking something, it doesn't mean that uh, you are stealing someone. So here, yeah, such as money, means you are taking someone's money and utilizing somewhere else. It is not like that. But for all I knew, maybe it wasn't stealing at all. It is. It wasn't stealing at all because it was only the longing, strong desire to ride that horse and for that sake. Uh, suppose, what is the thing here? Indirectly he is trying to say and that is, if you were crazy about horses, the way my cousin Morad and I were, it wasn't stealing. And the reason, what is the reason? It wouldn't become stealing until we offer to sell the horse. Suppose we will offer someone that I have this horse and with bargaining, with very less money you can purchase because it is not your horse. So whatever money you will get, you will sell that. So it, this kind of thing, it is not there. Unless we will think to sell that, it wasn't be the stealing. So it wouldn't become stealing until we offer uh, to sell the horse, which of course, I knew we would never do. And here the word never is very important that we would never do such type of mistake because it is the hallmark of their uh, tribe, their Gargolinian family that they will uh, never do such type of thing. Now up till this, uh, two important concepts here discussed and what are that two important concepts that is the hallmark that is trust and honesty and to to continue that same thing here author discussed with very proper way and as a reader we are understanding that how the two characters one is the Aram's character and one is the Morad's character and uh, the background now we are created it is about the beautiful white horse and there was a desire to ride that horse and the clarification of their family and how it would not be the stealing because they are not offering that horse to uh, sell someone. So up till this, the concept and uh, two important thing that is uh, honesty and the trust, how they, it is the hallmark. So up till this, uh, today we have discussed the next course of the story, the plot development of the story, we will discuss in the next part.